I mean, my dad always taught me when there's, an, when there's an elephant in the room, introduce them. In a university lecture hall last September, there was an elephant in the room, all right. Computer science professor Randy Pausch was dying. If you look at my CAT scans, there are approximately 10 tumors in my liver. If I don't seem as depressed or morose as I should be, um, sorry to disappoint you. Uh, <laughs> Pausch gave the lecture of a lifetime, his own. We cannot change the cards we are dealt, just how we play the hand. It was about the value of criticism. When you're screwing up and nobody's saying anything to you anymore, that means they gave up. About the nature of obstacles. The brick walls are there for a reason. All right? The brick walls are not there to keep us out. The brick walls are there to give us a chance to show how badly we want something. About living a life full of joy and meaning based not on the hereafter, but on the here and now. We're not going to talk about spirituality and religion. Um, Although I will tell you that I have experienced a deathbed conversion. Um, I just bought a Macintosh. It was not ever about self-pity. Life is to be lived, and I've never met anybody who was pitying themselves or pitying others who was making the best and highest use of anybody's time. It became a call heard worldwide not to waste time. A principle demonstrated in the way he and his family would spend their remaining days together. Don't let tomorrow wreck today. Yeah. I don't have to feel, I don't have to lose what we have right now in this moment, um, thinking about what the inevitable is going to be. Now the inevitable has come, but not before the last lecture touched millions through the internet, through television, through a best-selling book. All that from a speech that was really only ever intended for an audience of three. Talk's not for you, it's for my kids. Thank you all, good night. One day they will understand what so many already do. It was the way their father faced death that became the measure of his life. Tom Walters, CTV News, Los Angeles.